Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about the alternate key and your arrow keys and how it can help you use the pan tool. Uh, I do this from time to time when I'm drawing a map or critiquing a map or changing a map, and, and I, I want to concentrate. So I've got my shape tool, but I want to move it around a little bit. And I don't want to go over and get my pan tool because I like this zoom level. Well, I'm going to press the alternate key and then I'm going to hit my right arrow button. And I'm just going to pan over a little bit. And then I want to look up and I want to pan up. This way I can be really zoomed in and not take my eye off the screen and look around. So I'm going to hold down the alternate key and I can look at these individual nodes and going, I don't really like that node. I need to change it, make it look a little different. I'm having a little bit of trouble catching that control arrow, but, and I don't like that one. So I'm going to change it a little bit and make it a little more rounded, but then I'm put the alternate key back down and I keep moving around. I don't like that right there. So I'm going to delete it and see what happens. Not really much happened, so it looks better. I don't really like that right there. It's a little sharp point. Now, when I delete that, it's probably going to mess me up because <laughs> it's a different, totally animal down there, but uh, you can readily change that. It just, there's no other nodes. I've got it really node-free, so you'd have to do a little bit of work on it. But anyway... Once you're at a zoom level where you really want to look at something and you want to move around, but you want to keep your shape shape tool for noting, just hold down the alternate key and just move around. 